So yeah, we're in our we're in our hood, and we're trying to find some compositions. The trick is these sidewalks are very skinny, and finding a place to actually paint when you're not just I mean this you want the best shot right here on the middle of the road. <laughs> so it would always just be like move on. But it's <laughs> also a skinny road too. But I'm thinking of doing a vertical six by eight right mm -hmm. here. These double lines mean no parking, so you don't right. have to worry about a car coming up and just blowing, basically blowing up your spot. This amount of space. I've loved this building since we've moved onto this block. It's every time we pass it in the morning, it's just so beautiful. There's always a risk when you love a scene so much that you just feel like you're not gonna be able to capture it how you want to. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do vertical and really kind of focus on maybe the front door kind of stretching up into this really cool uh, like stacked architecture that kind of goes along the side. Sort of the mid painting critique. Ah, oh, I mean, really, already you totally captured it. Honestly, I would just start now if you wanted to. I mean, you've already got some small detail in there, but it's kind of finding these little, um, like kind of sharp nooks and crannies, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 little negative spaces. Yeah. I would say that. I would say, like, bring some sky in, and then you can kind of just. Um, round out this tree a little bit with just a slightly lighter value that the sun's kind of hitting it, you know? I think that'll be pretty behind this mass. Cool. Because it's already lighter in value, so it, it's further back in space, but I think if you kind of pushed that, mm -hmm. um, le yeah, kind of like the sunlit side just a little bit with some sky yeah. around it.
just oh, yeah. did in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we live uh, on Black Side. Like, we just, we're just being in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm kind of starting to go back into these. This is a the shadow zones. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because it takes up a lot uh -huh. of canvas space and there's uh -huh. not a ton going on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in those, uh, like the little like street detail things, yeah. like the, whatever the, the hell this is. That's exactly what I was thinking. I like, I like this bit of a warmth that you added uh, right in warm. here. Yeah. Because it brings, helps to bring this warmth from the building down into the shadow zone. Mm -hmm and it kind of ties it all together. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'd say, yeah, go a little bit more with that orange and then see about just faintly putting in the street lines, not making them a huge yeah. a huge element, but I think that would be a nice way to break up that blue. I feel like if you went yeah. in here, you you lighten some stuff and then dig in a mm -hmm, little bit mm -hmm, just because it's like mm -hmm. when you're looking at this, I feel yeah. like that's the entranceway. So it just should be a little more developed and then, sure. every, then your eye goes kind of everywhere else. I would pick like one or two spots and maybe within this like entranceway mm -hmm, where you go mm -hmm. like yeah. full highlight. Yeah, okay. You're pulling that, you're pulling that sky right in on that. Three, two, one, recap. Recap, all right. So this painting definitely was more of a challenge because there was definitely, there's drawing in this, there's perspective in this. This is something normally I would take a photo of, um, you know, out in the field mm -hmm. and then bring it back to my studio and paint inside when I have time to really make sure that I have all that correct. So attempting that plein air was really challenging and really yeah. fun. Um, but it's also kind of one of those things where you just kind of have to accept it for what it's going to be and not get too wrapped up in detail while also trying to push that detail that makes it so beautiful. Yeah, so it's yeah. finding that happy medium. So that was tricky. And a lot of that I always save to the very end and say, okay, if I have time, I'm going to put these little things in there. But can this painting kind of sit on its own without those little details and still be a complete painting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I kind of save those little, like little finishing touches, obviously for the finishing yeah, touches, yeah. but, um, or back at the studio. So I kind of did a happy medium of, it's a little bit kind of a, of a gray or blue sky, a little bit of cloud in, in, in the sky itself, not really full sun. So I feel like I am now bringing it back to the studio and looking at it a little bit, I would want to kind of push it in one of the directions. So either making it a little bit more of a gray day mm -hmm. and pushing some more cools back into yeah. those yellows um, or pushing the warmth a little bit in spots while also hinting at some kind mm -hmm. of cooler shadows and making it a little bit stronger of sun. Um, and then also kind of darkening, I think, just some areas where it is around the focal point so that this kind of becomes a more saturated um, yeah. zone. But yeah, so all, right. overall, you know, for like, a, for, for doing a um, technical cityscape yeah. painting out on the field, yeah. you, you know, you I'm pleased it. with it. As far as this painting goes, um, I lucked out and I was in a location where the sun, whether the sun was in or out, behind clouds or blasting, it didn't change the scene. So that was, I benefited mm -hmm. from that. Like I, I was able to systematically like block things in the way I would, the way I like to block things in and not just scramble because, oh no, the light changed. And now that thing that was dark is now totally light and the whole thing changed. I was actually just able to stick with the game plan mm -hmm. and just systematically throughout the, the the painting yeah, just do actually spot. do it right yeah because no matter what you were going to have if it was bright sun or if it was cloudy you would have these dark shapes always be dark yeah and then really only what changed was how bright you made this area probably in here is yeah. what i would imagine exactly you know because no matter what you're going to have some shadow from these big thick yeah trees full of foliage yeah. 
I might go back in and, and hit some of the like the, the sunspots on the tree when it's, yeah, when it's backlit. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I might just hit those a little harder. A little bit of the rim little, light. Yeah, yeah, the rim light. Mm -hmm. I might make those a little bit brighter. Yeah. Um, I think that would be nice. And even honestly, like, I think what would be cool is right in this zone. Yeah. Like, just to separate this tree a little bit more from this right. tree is if you kind of cut some of this brighter Either, either that's warm saturation yeah. or pushed this coolness just a little bit more right. In, right in here. I think yeah. that'd be pretty. Totally. It would kind of give it a little bit of fullness yeah. in that zone while separating it from foreground and background. Exactly. And that coolness will help right up yeah. against this tree, which is warm. Actually, yeah. It'll make Go this cool. tree. And then I might just darken this a bit here because mm -hmm. I feel like that value and like the street are kind of the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll mm -hmm. see. But it was a fun painting. Um, we had plenty of people come up and talk to us. Yeah. Which was fun. It's always fun to talk to the locals. It is. It so, is. So, yeah. Yeah. No, it, it was great.